properties of logarithms. Let b, m, and n be positive numbers such that b can be 1. And we have three properties here. So the first, the product property is that if you have log base b of m times n, we can break it up into log base b of m plus log base b of n. Uh, the quotient property, if you have log base b of m divided by n, we can break it up with a minus here. And then finally, the power property of logs is that if you have log base b of m to the nth power, that n can be moved to the front and it becomes n times log base b of m. We can verify this by substituting any number you want, uh, you know, as long as they're positive and b can't be 1. Uh, I picked 2, 4, and 3. And here's my first substitution. And if you type that into the calculator, the left side and the right side would equal 3.585 approximately. Uh, you can verify the quotient property the same way. Uh, log base 2 of 4 thirds is equal to log base 2 of 4 minus log base 2 of 3. And both of those equal approximately 0.415. And the power property, again, that 3, the exponent, can be moved to the front. And that equals 6. And it makes sense because if you know, this is uh, 4 to the third power, so we have here log base 2 of 64. And we're saying equals 6, which makes sense because 2 to the 6th power is equal to 64. Uh, here are some properties that people think, I'm, I'm sorry, here are things people think are properties but actually are not. So be very careful because these are not equal. Not equal, very important. And, and just verify it with your own numbers. You should try it out. Example, so use these two log approximations to evaluate each of the following. Uh, again, these are approximations, as you can see by the symbol. So log base four of three sevens, because we have division here, apply the quotient property of logs, and then we just substitute the values that we were given. And that gives us negative 0.612. If you type this into the calculator, uh, that has the capability of doing logs or doing it the way I'll show you later on, the better approximation you get is 0.611. But again, because the original values or approximations, our final answer might be more off than usual. Uh, next one, log base 4 of 21. Uh, we can say that 21 is 3 times 7. And then use the product property of logs, substitute the values we have from above here, add them, and we get 2.196. And again, that makes sense because you know 4 to the second power would be 16. So 4 to the 2.196 power would give you approximately 21. And then next, log base 4, 49. So this 49, I could look at as a 7 times 7. And then I just do something similar to what I did in the last step. It gives me 2.808. Or I could look at the 49 as 7 squared. And then I could apply the power property of logs and then I just have to double 1.4 and I get the same answer. So either way, the answer is approximately 2.808. Expand the log expression. So we have log base 6 of 5x cubed divided by y. Then we have to name the property we used and finally check. All right, first I see this 
division symbol. So I'm going to apply the quotient property of logs. And that's what that would look like. Uh, next, I take care of this multiplication symbol. So that becomes log base 6 of 5 plus log base 6 of x cubed minus log base 6 of y. And finally, you could use the power property of logs. Again, make that arrow. It'll help you remember it. And that gives us our final answer. If we want to check, uh, just assume that all the variables are positive. So pick a number for x, pick a number for y, substitute it into the original, substitute it into the final answer, and they should be equal. Which of the following is equivalent to log 9 plus 3? times log of 2 minus log of 3. So here we have a log base 10, also known as the common log. And it's the opposite of what we did the last problem. So the first thing I will take care of is this 3. It's going to get moved back as an exponent. So you see that over here. and I could take all three of those things and write it as a single log. So that's log of 9 times 2 to the third, because those are being added. And everything's being divided by 3, because of that minus there. All right, uh, I could simplify. Let me show you what I did there. Simplified 9 over 3 is 3. 3 times 8 gives you log of 24. So, final answer is D. And if you type both into a scientific calculator, I get 1.38 for the original part and for log of 24. And again, what that's saying is that if you think back, so again, this is base 10, we're saying 10 to the 1.38 power is approximately 24. And again, it makes sense. 10 to the 1 power is 10, 10 to the second power is 100. So that should work out. Logarithms with any base other than 10 or E can be written in terms of common or natural logarithms using the change of base formula. This allows you to evaluate any logarithm using any scientific calculator. And even if you have a calculator with the capability to take the log of any base, uh, sometimes it's quicker if you do it this way. You don't have to go searching for the exact app. All right, so here's the change of base formula. Basically, if you have log base C of A, you could rewrite it as log base B of A all divided by log base B of C. Uh, and usually people just stick to the natural log and the, the common log. Here's an example. So if I pick log base 5 of 3, I could rewrite it as log base 10 of 3 divided by log base 10 of 5. Again, I don't need the 10. I could just write log for the common log and type that in the calculator. You should get 0.6826. If I use the natural log, which is log base C or log base E or LN, it gives me the same value. Let's use that to try an example. So evaluate log base 3 of 8 using common logarithms and natural logarithms. Before we jump into the problem, let's think about it. So log base 3 of 8 has to equal something. Or you can think of it as 3 to a power equals 8. Well, we know that 3 to the first power is 3. So therefore, log base 3 of 3 would be 1. 
and we know that 3 to the second power is 9. So log base 3 of 9 equals 2. Therefore, I'm expecting my answer to be somewhere between 1 and 2, probably closer to 2. All right, first, let me give you a warning. Don't do this. Don't say log base 3 of 8 is equal to log of 8 divided by 3, because look at the answer we got. All right, 0.426. It doesn't make sense. And if you think about a problem before you actually do it, it can save you from making a mistake like that because I don't want you to just blindly trust a calculator. So let's apply the property the correct way. So log base three of eight, I'm gonna write it as the common log. So it's log of eight divided by log of three. And that gives us 1.8928. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, what about if I do the natural log, log base C e or LN. So that'll be natural log of eight divided by natural log of three. Get the same answer. And if I evaluate three to the 1.89 to eight power, I get approximately eight, which tells me that we did it correctly.